I'm Ed Miller. I'm a senior uh, principal engineer at ARM, where uh, I interact a lot with AWS and Amazon and ARM to make sure that we're, we're cooperating uh, effectively. But uh, on, on the side, I also work on something called the Bear ID Project. What is the Bear ID Project? I'm very curious. Uh, so the Bear ID Project is a, a machine learning application which we are developing to help identify and recognize individual bears in the wild to help with research conservation. Around the time when I was really first getting into machine learning, uh, I also happened to run across something called uh, explore.org, which is a, a website that's a, a nonprofit that has wildlife webcam streaming from around the world. And one of the really cool ones is a, a series of webcams up in Alaska that has brown bears. And uh, I would watch this camera and there would be chat groups talking about which bears were on there. And I thought, wow, this would be a great project to try out um, my, my own machine learning skills to see if I could develop something to identify those bears as well. What tools did you use to build something like that even? Yeah, so um, I built the original application just around a, a standard machine learning flow that was used for human face recognition, um, something called FaceNet that was uh, developed many years ago, but uh, I had to do it by building it with uh, a, a bear data set. And so, um, you know, a lot of people were sharing their images of bears on the, on the internet uh, from this webcam. And so that was what I used to kind of get started. When I was looking for more data to kind of improve the, the network capabilities, uh, I joined a, uh, a web community called uh, wildlabs.net and uh, I met a bear researcher in British Columbia who was looking for somebody to help them identify the bears and all the camera and video footage that they had because it was a very manual process and took them many hundreds of hours. What was the timeline like for you building this out? Like how long did this take you? And, and So I've been working on the core bear ID project machine learning algorithms for a number of years, uh, but I do this very part time. This is yeah. just something I this do. Is your side thing. This is my yeah, fun project. Amazing. Um, but the bear cam companion, I just started that in April and uh, I've never really done web development that much before. And within a couple of months, I had an application up and running. In August, I launched it. Uh, the day I, after I launched it, I had so many signups that uh, I exceeded the free tier <laughs> limit and had to actually sign up <laughs> to extend that so people could sign up. Um, uh, yeah, it was, it was really cool just how quickly I was able to put this together with the services provided from AWS, with help from the community builders. You were an AWS community builder and now a hero, so can you tell me a little bit about that experience? Yeah, so I got into the AWS community builder program at the beginning of uh, this year, and um, I used that platform to kind of take the Bear ID project to the next level, and uh, the work that I've done and the blogs that I've posted around it um, got me nominated to be a, to be a hero, which uh, just happened a few weeks ago. This journey is quite literally wild because you ended up going from like a machine learning project to meeting with like these researchers. And what what were your learnings from all that? What's the main takeaway for you from doing this project? Uh, I think I learned a lot about uh, the needs of conservation. I mean, I did this just as a, a fun project, and I thought bears were kind of cool, but I didn't realize the the applicability that it has. Uh, you know, these researchers are trying to understand how the bears are, are using the land, what are the populations, and they need to be able to understand the individuals to be able to do that. And it was just really eye-opening to understand how much time they put in to manually process all the data that they do and the tools that we as uh, technologists start to take for granted, uh, they just don't really have that much access to or they don't really know how to make use of them. And so it was a really great opportunity to kind of put those two things together and, and hopefully make a little bit of an impact in the world. What is Bear Camp Companion? So Bear Camp Companion is enabling me to get back to the, to the Bear Camp community that, I, that first inspired me. So I built a web application using Amplify uh, to you know, grab images from the webcam, identify the bears using Amazon recognition, and put them into a web page where uh, the bear cam community could then log into and identify those bears. And they could also go on there to, to see which bears are on the camera, so a way to share visually which, cam which bears are on the camera where. And uh, I'm using this now to create a database, to create a new machine learning algorithm to identify the bears on the camera to kind of help that whole full, come full circle. You were telling me earlier about something called Fat Bear Week. Can you tell me a little bit about that? 
Yeah, this is something from the, the bear cam community. So explore.org, Katmai National Park, where the cameras are located, and the Katmai Conservancy. Uh, every year in October, they run this uh, week-long thing called Fat Bear Week. And it's a, a bracket-style competition where they pit two bears up against each other, where they show their pictures at the beginning of the season, at the end of the season, and everybody votes on which one uh, has, has gained more weight or, you know, they basically they vote on which ones they like the best sometimes, you know. Um, and uh, they run it like a bracket style competition. And at the end of the, the week on Fat Bear Tuesday, they, 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 uh, they pick the winner. And uh, yeah, this year was Bear 747, which is one of the biggest bears in the river and well-deserving. So what is your advice for people trying to pick up new technologies, right? Um, what's your one tip or from doing everything with the Community Builder Program and the Hero Program? Yeah, following the, the the community builders is is a, is an amazing way to get started. Uh, there is so much information that's being shared in blogs, videos, yeah. posts, tutorials. Uh, you can learn so much from them. And then if you have the opportunity to actually become a community builder and get involved in that community and share your own learnings, you can continue to you know pass on that knowledge. Uh, and if you're interested in applying your technology to the conservation space, I highly recommend checking out wildlabs.net. That community is an amazing place to find um, conservationists and scientists that are looking to connect with technologists to help them solve really important problems. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us. It's been such an honor. Thanks, Linda. We really appreciate it. And I will be uh, checking in with you hopefully next year on the same question. And this is going to be light years away. Thank you for inspiring Sounds all of us. Sounds great to me. Really.